Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss uploading blobs to Azure storage account container using .NET Core. Here, I am inside my storage account. If you don't know how to create a storage account, you can click on the I symbol that is there at the top. And at present, in my storage account, there are no containers. There is only the system container that is $Logs. To access the storage account programmatically, we have to take the connection string for that we have to go to access keys and show keys and here there are two connection strings i am taking the first one here i have created a console application and here i am writing static string connection string is equal to the connection string that we have copied and also i am declaring one more variable container name is equal to demo container please note that the name should be in lower case and we have to add a nuget package right click on the project manage nuget packages go to browse and search for storage select azure.storage.blobs and install it is installed now we have to create the object of blab service client control dot and we have to use this namespace blob service client is equal to new blob service client and we have to pass the connection string and here we have to create blob container client container client is equal to we have to use the blob service client dot create blob container and here we have to pass container name let us see the files inside our directory that we are going to read so this is the directory and there are five files so where files is equal to directory dot get files and i'm giving the path over here for each where file in files here we have to use container client to upload the file so it has upload blob method and it has two overloads and we are going to use the second overload which accepts stream of content and to get the stream we have to use memory stream stream is equal to new memory stream we can pass byte array to this memory stream so we can use file dot read all bytes and we can give the file path to this and inside this we can use container client dot upload blob and the blob name should be path dot get file name and we can give file and here we have to pass the stream that is all we have to do now let us print the file name console dot write line file uploaded console.read now I am running this application so it uploaded five files let us go to our storage account containers and if you see it created demo container if you go inside the demo container there are five files that is all in this demo if you like my explanation please subscribe to my channel and also like this video thank you